Hey Pisces, how's it going my seeker? Welcome to your 2019 yearly um, energy guidance and tarot scope with the existential shift or gain welcome back or if you're new, welcome anew. A little Palo Santo for the, for the vibe, a pre-shuffle. Now I'm just going to go over with the Palo Santo everything. This is the last video for the 2019 that I'm doing. I already did all the other Zodiac. And first that I have the need to speak to you face to face from the beginning. Usually I end the video with lifting up the camera and talking to you. Um, those of you who are new to my channel, um, I actually always speak to the camera. Um, I don't stay behind the scenes. But for the yearly, I went on a different something because this reading is very long relatively to my other readings and very intense and I wanted to kind of make it as accurate as possible and to avoid over chattering um, but now I want to talk to you guys I am having a very strong sense for you for 2019 of, before the cards I pre shovel I didn't look at anything just from me tapping into your energy there's this feeling of very, very strong, focused uh, spirituality. It's very Mars and Pisces kind of thing. It's, it's, it's this active force of will, this cardinal fire that leads and, and carries energy with it that enters into the ocean, into the realm of the Pisces, into the realm of the, the fog and the vague and the elusive and the esoteric and the... Uh, fantasy oriented and the unknown and more intuitive oriented and for this driven focused energy it's very it, it's 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 completely different okay it couldn't be more different and that transmutes into magic for you guys it's, it's, it's a very focused practical type of healing and transformation uh, it's very much the um, the temperance card, which temper between elements, between fire and water, which is what's happening now with, with when I'm while I'm filming this, when um, Mars energy is in Mars is in Pisces, and I'm actually even though Mars is about to go back to Aries next month in January, I feel it taking you with it, meaning your esoteric, elusive world essence is becoming highly focused and grounded. Okay, it's like the waters know where they're, where they're going now. Instead of being back and forth, back and forth, yin and yang, circular, wavy, all over, swirling. Now there's a very strong sense of direction, almost like a tsunami, just not in a destructive way. I mean, obviously that differs between different types of Pisceans, but it's almost like there's your state of consciousness is not changing from the Pisces. You're still Pisces. Right? You're still water, but it's much more clear water. It's easier to see through the water. You, you manage to see through the horizon, to see into the goal, as opposed to just you know the unknown of the water. When you dive and you open your eyes underwater, you see it very foggy, right? And only like for close proximity, it's hard to see into the distance. There's just void and darkness into the distance and you live in that state of mind of the unknown that's how you discover new life when when your eyesight is not um limited to what's in front of you like the hunter and it's more like 360 and and what is going on right now and what we're feeling right now and what we're um what is the riddle of the present you know I feel it a little bit different for you guys for 2019 and, and it's and it's in a marvelous way it's almost like okay we've done the 360 around us the uh, we've 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 took the water in we worked through them we discovered the magic within us through allowing myself ourselves to swim in the unknown myself maybe as well 
And now that our existence is finally okay with unknown and uncertainty and still holds the faith, it's like that was the key. Like now the gates are open. Now we can see through um, the thickness of the water. Now it's really clear. It's like we're having a new goggles that can show us really straight through the depths of the, of the ocean without the unknown element of it. And I wonder what you're going to do with it in 2019, Pisces, because that's alchemy. You know, you can manifest a lot and you can achieve a lot and you can be so proud of yourself. There's a lot of power in that. Being able to temper water and fire, it's cardinal fire with mutable water. It's fire that has a lot, a lot, a lot of strength and force and creativity, chi, life force. But it allows itself to be mutable and changeable. It doesn't um, limit itself to one point of view. I, I named the Aries 2019 yearly a whole new world. I feel Pisces and Aries are entering a new state of mind in 2019. Like Both your energies are what creates the temperance element in our life. The, the card temperance, the alchemy, the magic. So I'm very proud of the Aries in my life and of the Pisces in my life because I know what they're going through. And for those of you who also have that energy strong in your chart, then that will also be significant for you and relevance to you. I'm sorry. So I guess other than expressing what I'm sensing for the year for you, I guess the advice would be maybe we'll look to the cards should probably look to the cards. Embrace it. Embrace embrace this new found focused spirituality in you. Create with it. Have fun with it. Now you can really discover the ocean. It's like the fish that goes out of its pack because it's already grown and big and can handle itself and now it's going deep into the oceans to discover new worlds because it can. All right. So as I said, I pre-shuffled to save us time. I didn't look at the cards, so this is a discovery for myself with you guys. 12 cards from January through December and then the 13th one, 13th pack to represent the entirety of 2019. We have one significant uh, from the um, after tarot two clarifiers from the Celtic Tarot and Arun. And we will finish up from an oracle message of the Akashic Records and an oracle message of the I Ching. All right, I guess we're ready. Let's see what we have in store for the entirety of 2019 before we go, we delve into the months. Ten of Swords, fantastic. Please don't freak out. For those of you who don't know Tarot and looking at this image, it can be frightening. Hold your breath. Let me speak. Hold on. The Hierophant, and the Novice of Pentacles, which is similar in energy to the Page of Pentacles, and Hagalas. Okay, so basically, especially if I connect it to how we started this conversation, Ten of Swords is putting down to rest something that is no longer a part of your life. It's a system, a structure, a dogma that no longer serves you. You've learned what you had to learn from this, from this karmic situation, from this uh, difficult reality, from this long lasting endless lesson, spiritual lesson, cognitive lesson, whatever be lesson. You went to school, you've been a good student, it's time to hold off on it. The system has served its place in your life. Now, Hagalas, why am I saying it? Hagalas is hail, forces of nature that are above us and not to our control. 
this is a time of rest after probably a, a very long period of time that was difficult for some of you. Some of you are finishing up some sort of school, literal school, like either high school or college or a class or a course, you're putting a hold on it. Some of you uh, realizing that you've learned what you had to learn and you're ready to move on. Some of you are realizing that you don't have the pl a place anymore in that specific system. You're willing to admit that something isn't working for you and whatever this is. And you're willing to step back and think of it differently and move on. Remember what I said about the fish that, that is leaving the pack? Now the pack is, is an analogy. It doesn't have to be leaving home or your family, which could be, of course. It could be leaving a, a, a school. It could be leaving a home. It could be leaving a culture, a society, um, uh, an organization. But it can also be a, time, a, 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 my, a frame of mind, I'm sorry, that is yours that you're leaving or finishing up with. You're putting it to rest. You're letting go of trying to hold a systematic type of knowledge. You're now focused on your way as opposed to the other way, other people's way, how you grew up kind of way, what you're used to type of way. And you understand that you need to focus on your way. And some of you are not entirely sure on how to go about it, but at least you're taking the step back to observe in order to figure it out. Hagaraz can be the letter H. Now some of you, and this is not a premonition, for those of you that it's relevant for, you will know what I'm talking about right now, so don't freak out, okay? Those of you who know and it's already relevant into your life, if you're putting someone, an individual that you know to rest, literally, then this in a way releases you to live a life that is more yours than it, than it is theirs. So if that person symbolized a certain way of life that you had together or a certain way of um, mindset, faith, could be anything, then that thing, that entire thing goes to rest with them. And that is a very specific narrative for those of you who know what I'm talking about. Don't start um, freaking out, or, oh, who am I losing? Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not how the cards work. The cards will not ever show me something like that. They wouldn't even put me in this in this situation. This is something existing that you're um, that you are aware of already. I'm not surprising you. I'm not giving you any predictions. Okay. But it's a very powerful year for the self, Pisces. Okay, I'm going to put this aside and we're going to go through the months. And of course, we'll start with January. So we had Ten of Swords, Novus of Pentacles. By the way, this is very Virgo Taurus. Hierophant is, can be a Taurus. Novus of Pentacles, Mutable uh, Earth could be Virgo. So in case that's relevant for any of you guys. And then there's Hagaras here. All right, January. Let's do it. 